Yo, Elliot. Got this question from Sean Strong. He goes on to say, Elliot, I've been using these Cybex leg extension and leg curl machines with really good results. I personally like using them, but I'm reading a lot of articles and people are saying that these are bad to use. I also like to use the Smith machine for bench press and military press, but yet people are saying that they're bad. So the very first thing I wanna offer you, my friend, is that good and bad is completely subjective. Right? One person says this is good and one person says that it's bad. One person said this is bad and one person says it's good. Listen, these are just all ideas. They are, they're just information. It's just advice. You really don't have to attach to any of them. The only thing that really matters, the only thing that you can measure up to 100% is not found in textbooks, not found in articles, not found in Yo Elliott videos. It's found in your own experience. Right? And in your experience, based on the goals that you're trying to achieve, if using the leg extension machine and leg curl machine is good for you, then it's fucking good. No matter what any scientist or biomechanicist or YouTubist says. It really doesn't matter what anybody says. It really doesn't matter what I say. What matters is the type of experience you're getting, the type of results that you receive from the activities that you're engaging in. Right? Because there was a time, and this is the pendulum fucking swings. There was a time when everything was about lifting with machines. It was all machines. You go to any gym, it was all machines. But then things come back. They come back, and everybody trains like a fucking Spartan now. It's cool to, to, to beat up on machines and downplay machines because this is the fad now. This is where the pendulum is. But the pendulum's gonna swing back again. I guarantee you, I guarantee you as the sun will set, that there's gonna be a time when machines are gonna be back in vogue. They're gonna be popular again. Guarantee. Just like how slow cardio was a big deal, and everybody knew that you had to do slow, low intensity cardio for so long in order to burn fat, and then high intensity interval training came, right? Everybody said slow and slow cardio was bullshit and you shouldn't do it and you should only do high intensity interval training. I'm telling you right now, mark my word, as, sun, as the sun is gonna set, that low intensity walking on treadmills is gonna come back again. Look at the diets people eat. It's the same fucking idea. Anything that, that people put their stamp on in a convicted fashion today will be wiped off the face of the earth tomorrow, but it'll come back again the next day. This is just the way it is. The way you rid yourself of that pendulum swinging is to find out what works for you and say fuck everybody else, right? Fuck me, right? Fuck Elliot Hulse. It doesn't matter what Elliot Hulse says, I know that this is my experience because I've talked about using free weights over machines for so long because I'm an athlete, I train athletes, and it's been our experience that athletes who train with their feet on the ground, i.e. doing deadlifts and squats, as opposed to seated on their butts, perform better on, in their sport, right? That's just been the experience. But if you're a bodybuilder and you're just trying to build up some freaking muscle, you want to get all swollen your quads and your hamstrings, right? And you're getting a good response from this, you're getting good results, you like this, then just ignore everybody and everything else, keep doing what works for you. And then you know what? Funny thing's gonna happen. You're gonna get great results, and then you write a book. You make some videos. You start telling people why machines are better. And slowly but surely, just like the guy that tells people to eat 30 bananas a day, people are gonna gather around you because they're gonna like what you have to say. They're gonna try it and they're gonna experience it, no matter how ridiculous it seems to other people. And you'll become a guru of the machine, the, the new machine era, right? The new, new era of training with machines. So that's it, man. If it's working for you, bro, just do it. Fuck everybody else. Yo, Elliot.